Hey, in the spirit of uh, Dennis Helvina putting his idea for the Hank drum out on the, uh, the web, I thought I would share a few of the things that I've done um, with his idea, uh, things I've learned uh, that maybe help somebody else build a Hank drum themselves. Um, a couple of the tips online are obvious, uh, using a heat gun or a torch to remove the valve certainly does ease that process a little bit. A um, couple of the things I like to use hand files rather than an angle grinder to take the welding tabs off. Um, I think I can do a better job that way. It's a little nicer final appearance. A um, couple of things that concerned me when I was making my first drum that I guess I wanted to talk about. Um, it didn't seem to matter if the weld spot was on a tongue. Um, I still got pretty good sound from it anyway, so don't be concerned about that. Um, I also didn't care for the really short high notes, um, so I wound up tuning those down quite a bit. Um, I was a little concerned at some point if I got the tongue cut down past the edge of the uh, the curve of the tank that it would not sound very good, but uh, I still got pretty good resonance even though I cut this one down pretty far. Um, I drilled large holes to get my uh, saw blade in instead of a bunch of little ones. Uh, that lowered the sound of each tongue pretty significantly, so I wound up having to do quite a bit of shaving to bring each one up then. Uh, so if you're going to uh, drill large holes, make sure you move them up enough that you can still tune the, tune the tongue down. Um, a significant thing I learned is when it comes to tuning, um, the length of the tongue is far more important than the width of the tongue. Um, there's a couple bad ones here you can see where I started shaving away on the sides to try and bring that tone up a little bit sharper. Um, turns out taking a little bit off the end of the tongue is a whole lot more effective than taking a lot off the sides of the tongue. So if you're uh, in a situation where you've cut it a little bit too flat and you want to sharpen it up, take a little bit off the edge uh, or off the end rather than on the sides. That's going to make a bigger difference faster. Um, also, maybe avoid getting your tongues real close together. Um, I get a lot of kind of ringing and resonance between the adjacent tongues, so try and give a little bit more space in there where you can. Um, and I prefer the mallets. I can get a little bit of sound by hand, but I just prefer the prefer the mallet sound. I get a lot nicer tone. Um, and uh, I guess a couple other ideas I had just building this one, kind of sticking with the garage aesthetic of the original idea was I took my bungees and took the hooks off, tied them together with some cord, and then made a cord handle so I can carry the drum around. Um, likewise on the bottom, I wrapped the base with a little bit of cotton cord um, just to protect the floor when I'm moving it around. Um, so those were the original ideas I had. Um, and then I decided after making this one that I would try again, try a few other things. So this is the second one I built. I call it my Dragonfly Hank. Um, primary thing that I learned here was um, you can cut your tongues a rather irregular shape and it uh, doesn't matter all that much. You still get pretty good sound from it even when they're a little bit irregular. Um, I cut the top ring off rather than the bottom ring um, thinking that that would give me an opportunity to screw a handle into the top, which I did. However, one of the reasons you shouldn't do that is because uh, the valve threads here get in the way of your jigsaw, so that can make life a little bit of a hassle. Um, so in that regard, cutting the bottom off and uh, cutting the small ring off and leaving the large one makes a little bit more sense. Um, Here's my Dragonfly Hank. Another thing I did was I cut a hole in the bottom so that I could access the inside and um, paint the inside so that it doesn't deteriorate. Um, then I kept the, the link and put a piece of just foam fabric over it when I put it back on and that seems to really help with the resonance inside so I wound up not needing a bungee cord on the outside which of course would conflict with the work that I did on the, on the painting. Um, I get pretty good sound from it, but I also made it so that I can take the take the handle out, which is just a doorknob, um, and still get pretty good sound. The low notes uh, really sound a lot better with the doorknob out. Um, but otherwise, so there it is. That's my Dragonfly Hank drum. Um, hope you have fun making yours.